morning, everybody. Pulled out of Little Field this morning. Got up, made some breakfast. Cleaned the truck. Washed it. It was much needed after all the road grime from the snow and everything up north. And then coming through that dust storm yesterday. We are currently headed to Lubbock. They have three skate parks. They are all pre-manufactured, which is kind of funny. Texas has a very broad range of skate parks. They've got very, very basic pre-manufactured parks. They've got some bigger pre-manufactured parks, and then they've got some incredibly good, well-built name brand parks around the state. From Evergreen to Spawn Ranch to Grindline, they have a ton of skate parks around the state. Unfortunately, all three of the ones in Lubbock are pre-manufactured. Pre I take that back, there's only two in Lubbock. I'm gonna go skate one of them. One that's made by Solo, which builds concrete pre-manufactured ramps. So it's a decent park. There's a couple back in Alabama that we frequented when I lived there. And they're quality built ramps. They're just prefabs. So, you know, there's metal flashing at the bottom of the ramps. There's, you know, rails start coming off of them at some point. They're, they're just, they're not as good as a built-in place skate park, but it's, for a prefab park, it's a really good park. So, and then the other park is like a skate light park prefab ramps and it's really run down. It started coming apart. A lot of the pieces of the top layer started falling off and there's no upkeep on it. Like apparently the city doesn't take care of it. The skateboarders aren't taking care of it. It's really run down. So I'm going to go hit this one park in Lubbock, probably grab some lunch in Lubbock, and then we're going to head over to Idaloo, Texas where there's an evergreen skate park and probably stay the night over there somewhere and see where we get after that. It's a beautiful day today, February 23rd. It's 48 degrees currently at about nine o'clock in the morning and it's supposed to get up in the high 60s today close to 65, 67. So I'm excited. The winds died down from yesterday, so it's a lot more still than it is. The wind chill isn't going to be nearly as bad. It'll be a perfect day to get out and skate. All right, everybody, we made it here. Love skate park. Kind of like this place because I can pull these gates to have bandit here. Not have to worry about it running off. So he gets to hang. But here it is. Like I said, it's all prefab solo ramps. It's got some mellow transition, a couple of banks, a hip over there, hip right there. There's a stair set on the other side of that with like no run up. <laughs> Pretty good sized quarter pipe over here, somewhere mellow couple of benches. Could do with a good flat bar, that'd be pretty sick. Overall it's not a bad park though. I, like I said, I grew up skating solo parks, these pre concrete prefab skate parks. And uh, for a prefab park they're pretty quality. This, this is interesting for sure. I kind of want to get a trick on that. I've never done anything on that. I've never done anything on that ramp to bench there. I think I got a little line for this guy. I'm gonna give a shot today. I'm 
talking about, people, right there. That's what skateboarding's about. When I first got here, that was out of my ability. In my head, I was telling myself there's no possible way I could do that. There it is. I am so stoked right now. That was completely worth coming to this park in the first place. Wow. Get out there and skate, guys. Zero flip tricks. Since I started skating again this year, so I'm trying to get a few in. Tray flip's gonna be the hard one. Idaloo Skate Park. It's a really fun little spot. Like I said, I think it used to be a tennis court. And they paid Evergreen Skate Parks to come in and build this little thing they put together here. It's got some flat ledges in a line kind of fun. They've got this long rail with a kink going sideways in it. They've got this kind of weird bank quarter pipe hip thing over here. This elevated manual pad or angled manual pad or whatever you want to call it. And the sides are actually curved on it. So when you grind you're going up that curve. And then on this side, got a mani pad with this kind of cool curb ledge thing. It's a fun little park, especially to be in this little town. I always enjoy sliding through here. There's a couple of cities near here that sites like I was talking about so I think Floyd Dada has got one I hope I pronounced that right and Crosby 10 I think has one and Rawls has one so Floyd Dada has got another prefab park one of those but it's an awesome little spot 
I love this skate park. Evergreen did a really good job with probably a minimal amount of funding from what it looks like, but they did a great job. Come check it out if you're in this part of the state. Got a shower, cleaned off the trash beard. Well overdue, both the shave and the shower. It's kind of been pretty gross. I usually stop in Crawford, which is on Possum Kingdom Lake. Most trips. It's an incredible area of Texas. It's so beautiful. It's not at all what I, or most people, to my knowledge, would expect Texas to look like. It's kind of hilly and almost mountainous. It's this beautiful lake up there. There's some hikes around the area that I'll probably do. But they have a Mardi Gras parade on the 5th, I think. Just, just under a week from now. Or just over a week from now. So I kind of need to kill. It, it would only take me like 10 hours to get over there. So I kind of need to kill at least a few days out on the road so I can end up getting there at least close to that date and not trying to sit there by the lake for a week. But I like productive days killed and not just sitting around for six days or so. So I can figure that out, figure a plan. I might hit some different areas that I haven't hit before just to get some get some time in, get some areas covered. Every time I pass a city park in a in a city somewhere, I'm I'm just always scanning for the skate parks. Texas has a lot and they're not all listed online, so sometimes you can find these little parks in the middle of nowhere that you'd never have found either way. So let's get on down the highway and we'll see you in Plainview. Plainview Skate Park. Really fun spot. 
just kind of a classic street park it's got a mani pad with the rail on it a couple of benches in a line together good five steer with handrails hubba bumps a ledge good gap right here there actually used to be a rail right here so it was a bump like a gap bump rail it's a pretty sweet little spot but that was a gnarly gap like even for someone that's been riding for 18 years it's pretty tough this is one of my favorite features this little quarter pipe with a hole in the middle of it so much fun and then grass gap the out rail another grass gap with the bench another bump ledge and then the feature that I think is kind of out of place but kind of fun this little roller right here does not fit the rest of the park but it is fun to ride got the hip with the, with the ledge across it just a good all-around skate park they do have a laundromat here that I've used before I'm just about due for that so I might swing in there after the skate park I'm kind of hoping that they have Wi-Fi so I can get a couple of videos finally uploaded that I've been working on. That'd be nice, I can get some stuff done today. It'd be a little more productive than just skateboarding. Leave some comments on what you like, what you don't like. We'll see you next time.